Fly fishing is truly an art form. Casting, reading the water, even piloting a drift boat are all skill sets that rival anything you find hanging in an art museum. And the true masterpiece is making something just to throw it away. Let's put it like this. We tie them in the winter and we lose them in the summer. Tying flies is as old as fishing itself, but the practice is now less of a necessity and more of a way to extend your fishing season. And for Jim Stein at Cross Currents Fly Shop in Helena, the attention to detail and patience needed to tie a convincing fly is the perfect addition to his total fishing experience. I do tie a lot of my own. It's, uh, it's just something I've been doing for, oh shoot, I've been tying for over 40 years now. And uh, the enjoyment of tying is, is uh, you know, the creative part of it. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, it's something, like I said, I've been doing for a very long time. The, the fun thing about it is you can, you can create uh, a little bit different. You can do options. You can uh, change it up a little bit from what maybe the original tie was to something that you prefer or something that seems to work better for you. Beyond finely tuning your presentation, tying your own fly gives you the chance to have even more of a connection with angling and an excuse to focus on fly fishing during the dead of winter. I can't tell you, there's, there's something very satisfying about putting a hook in your vise, adding materials to it, whether it's fur or feather or something very natural like that, or maybe synthetic taking it to the river, tossing it in, poking a fish. It's, uh, it's a very satisfying uh, experience. Now, if you're interested in learning how to fly tie yourself, check out this story on our website or head to your local fly shop. Reporting from Helena, Andy Curtis, MTN News.